Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. So today we'll be taking a new topic altogether, which we have not done for quite some time now. Today we'll be talking, taking a topic on AWS Cloud. I mean, generally what we have seen, uh, we create EC2 instances and we forgot to stop them, or you know, and that generally adds to our overall bill on a monthly basis. So today what we're going to see, we'll create an EC2 instance. And then we'll do a start automatic start stop using our AWS Lambda. So with this, we'll be able to control the cost by automatic uh, start and stop using a Lambda function. So yeah, it's pretty straightforward, but it's a little bit off the track topic that we are taking it today, especially on the AWS cloud. So what all other sessions we have done on AWS, you can quickly do a quick recap. Initially, we create a how to create an AWS account. And then how to create an EKS Kubernetes cluster in AWS, and then how to create EC2 instance like a Linux instance or a EC2 Windows. So let's get back to the, you know, quickly onto the practical aspects of it. So I've created a small GitHub page for this, and you know we'll be following this uh, EC2 README Lambda page to understand how to start top EC2 instance using Lambda and how to schedule it so that. We can simply check the logs also in CloudWatch. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, we need to create a policy. Now this policy will help you to, you know, uh, tag it to a role, which role will be tagged to ultimately a Lambda function. So uh, it's pretty straightforward. I'll be following this documentation. So this is my EC2 instance, and uh, this is one of the machines that has already stopped. Let me manually run it so that I can, uh, if you don't know how to create an EC2 instance, you can simply watch my other videos. Okay, now coming on to the, um, the IAM. So I need to type IAM, come here. First of all, you need to create a policy. I'll click a policy, okay. And then I'll click a create policy. Let me see whether this policy is there. There's no policy like that. So okay, let me click a create policy. And then uh, in the policy section, click this JSON. Now, how to get the JSON? You can simply get from the documentation, or if you don't know the documentation, you can simply come here and then copy paste this JSON. Okay. This is from official AWS documentation. Okay. Click next. And then give a policy name, uh, give a start stop, start stop policy, right? Okay, anything else needs to be added? Yeah, these are the two default things that I mean, logs will be captured in the CloudWatch logs, and yeah, it is for DC2. Perfect, let's create a policy. The policy is created now, so you can see start stop policies. Now I'll create a role, which in, in a, under role, I'll create this policy as a tag. So I'll create a role. Now, if you go back to the documentation, you need to create a role, choose role, create role. Trusted, trusted entity type, choose AWS service. And then uh, use case should be Lambda. Fine, click next. And then, uh, okay. And then you select the permission policies. I should select this start stop policy, which I've created in my previous steps. Uh, I think I'm okay. Give me a role name. Start, stop, role. Find, create a role. Perfect. Now my role is also created. Start, stop, role. And let me see whether that is available. Start, stop, role. Perfect. So my policy is creating. My role is created, which is tagged to that particular policy. Right. Now I'll create a Lambda EC2 stop function. So let me see whether my machine is running or not so that I can quickly, you know, stop that machine using Lambda now. So I'll come on to this EC2 thing. I can see whether my machine is running. My machine is up and running, perfect. So now, now I'll go to the uh, Lambda. So this is my step three. I'll search Lambda like this. So I'll come here, fine. Now I'll create a stop 
function first there's no function i'll do a scratch uh, ec2 stop right now uh, instead of this node.js, I need to select Python option. Mm. I can give this name also if you want. So in this, I need to select this Python option because I'll be adding a Python code. And then simply use an existing rule. I can simply follow this documentation, use an uh, select Python and execution use an existing rule and then select the role that you created you know some time back so i created a role called the start stop role okay that is already coming up and if it is not coming you can simply refresh it and it will come now advanced settings do not do anything else here and simply create a function fine the function is created now you need to paste the code so under this code section you need to paste the stop code okay so I will come here. This is my stop code. EC2 stop. This that is what it is written here. Add this Python code. So come here. EC2 stop. Change the uh, instance ID. This is my instance ID which I need to stop. If you have multiple instances, just simply uh, give multiple like this. Okay. But here in in this case, it is only one instance ID. Fine. I'll just do a copy of this. I'll come on to my lambda function and do control C, control V. Right. Now I'll do a test. I can write test here. Save. I'll do a test again. Okay. I'll deploy this code. Fine. This function is deployed. Now I'll do a quick test. Now this function started to stop your ECD. So now this will get stopped. I will click run this. Yeah, see. Now it is getting stopping. So basically, now I have manually stopped my EC2 instance, but using Lambda, right? Now let me create another function called as start. Uh, so I'll come on to my this documentation and let me create another function called as start EC2 instance. Okay. Do this. I select Python code here. Okay. I'm doing slowly so that you can understand. Use an existing role. Use the same role. Start sub role. Create a function. Right. Now function is same. Only the main thing will get changed is the you no know, the start code. So start code is this one. Make sure that we have the same uh, instance ID. The only difference you can see the ec2 dot start instance and ec2 dot stop instance so i'll just come here i'll do a control a control c i'll do a deploy first now start instance and deploy i'll do a test for the first time you need to just give us my sample test here test execution started now you can see this will get started so i'll come here so now this is in pending state, it will just start in a while. Okay, so what we have done, we have uh, you know, created a uh, lambda function for lambda for start, lambda for stop, and now we have done it manually. Now let's uh, do a automatic run using uh, um, basically, uh, I would say automatic run of lambda function. So what, uh, what I'll do, I'll open my event bridge aws event bridge okay and then i'll go to the rule okay and then i'll click on create rule now this is my rule start stop schedule okay I'll just give it a name okay and then i need to select this schedule continue to create rule right and then i'll just give it uh, some time maybe mm. let me give 30 uh, 16 
but uh, this is a cron schedule okay now we are talking about saturday 13 jan so it is like 10 past midnight so i would say let me select this local time okay so let me give 10 3 1 so it is actually 7 a.m. I need to do it after 5 minutes so currently it is 12 15 select 20 Zero. Twenty three. Twenty four. Okay. Let me give the time for now. Okay. So I am saying, please run this schedule on Saturday. This this time. Okay. Okay, it took some time to adjust the time. So yeah, so I'm setting up it for uh, after two minutes. This schedule should run. So it is such a cron job. I should do a click next. I need to select the AWS service. I should select the lambda function, and I can select the function stop. Hoping my instance is already running. Yes, instance is already running. Stop EC2 instance. Click next. Click next. Activate rule. Fine. So currently it is 12:15. After two minutes, this should run. Uh, this function should uh, run uh, automatically to to stop this instance. Okay, automatically. Now this is the start stop schedule. Basically, this is a stop schedule, not the start one. This is a rule, so let me uh, edit this rule because this is okay. That's okay. So let me create another rule for starting the schedule. Okay, we create a rule called a start EC2 schedule. We'll wait for two more minutes till the time we let let create a rule uh, for starting. So this rule is for stopping the one which I'm just created few minutes ago. This is optional. Come here. We'll continue to create rule. I'll do 24. T star star. Okay. I'll select local time. And then I'll select 19. I'll select 1, 2. I'll select 18. And then I select 25, no, 38, 40, 45, 49. Okay, so 1217 it will stop and 1219 it will automatically. Let's give a 1219 will automatically now start. So this is my schedule lambda lambda function i'm just saying please call the start ec2 instance i'm calling that start ec2 instance python code next 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 fine so let's see we have a start ec2 schedule and this is actually the stop okay don't go with the naming convention so let's see whether my instance is stopped or not i have so currently it is 12 17 this should get get initiated so let me in the meantime let me open this uh, CloudWatch logs. CloudWatch logs. Okay. Let's see. Okay. See, it is automatically getting stopped. Twelve seventeen. Exactly. Let's see the logs also. 
click on log groups log groups and then click on this start top ec2 instance which ran on 1217 see 1217 exactly and it has stopped your instance fine now we have another uh, rule called as start ec2 instance at 12 uh, just one minute after this so it is already getting triggered yeah because it was not able to find uh, the instance because it was, it was it was already stopped so maybe you could have given one minute extra so let's start this thing manually in see in nutshell we are just trying to show you that how you need to use schedule and get it done let's start this instance so it's just already stopped now it is starting it okay so yeah that is pretty much this is all gui thing that we have done yeah this has started start like starting a ect instance this has started perfectly so we can see the logs also in the log group under cloud watch so what potentially we have used we have used in a in summary let me quickly summarize first of all we created a policy then we created a role attached that policy to that role using a json file and then we created a lambda function in that lambda function i attach attach that role top lambda function start lambda function and ultimately uh, created a schedule a start schedule and a stop schedule okay for that lambda function and ultimately i check the logs on that cloudwatch log group fine that is pretty much i hope you liked it if you don't uh, if you really want to uh, do a quick check please do it on your aws account and uh, last not the least do not forget to like and subscribe the channel because there's you know tons of videos in the same you know uh, channel you have a playlist called as grafana which contains i think 20 odd videos of different different industry use cases this is all uh, industry use cases channel we don't do any kind of theoretical thing and there's another kubernetes playlist where you can find all you know things related to your kubernetes thing and yeah open telemetry as well so there are a bunch of videos that you can simply try and check out for your working examples i would stop for now okay uh, let me know in case of any issues in in, in the comment section we'll try to help thank you for now goodbye